Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the previous video, we covered the retrofit and the API of the weather app. And now in this video, we will design the UI. So open Android Studio, go to the main activity. Here we will create a UI using Jetpack Compose. The UI is pretty simple. See, we have a text field where we will write the city name and a check weather button. Then below it, we have four cards and each card has two text, the title text, and the response for the city name, temperature, humidity, and description. Easy, right? So now let's create it. Remove the default code. And done. We will create a composable function named weather screen. And done. Also, I will create a preview function so that you can see the UI while writing the code. Then inside it, all the UI elements, but before that, initialize all the variables. The first variable is view model. We need to connect the weather view model here with our UI. Then we need to observe the state, means to observe the data and make changes accordingly. Hence, write well weather data by view model dot weather data dot collect as state now what is collect as state collect as state is a function that converts the state flow into a compose state object that can be used to automatically update the ui when the data changes got it also add the required imports and then then the city variable which will store the city name and it's imports to, and then finally the API key. I am writing random numbers, but here you will add your API key from Open Weather Map API website. Okay, and done. Now comes the UI part. The entire screen is a box with a background image. So create a box with fill max size, Then using paint, I will set the background image. With content scale as fill bounds. And then, now inside the box, we will create a column. This is also fill max size. With padding 16 dp. And horizontal alignment as center horizontally. And vertical arrangement as top. Now inside the column, give a spacer of 180 dp height. Then below it, we will create a text field. But I want the text field to have an outline, hence I am using an outline text field. Then inside it, the value will be city, means it will store the city name, then write all the parameters.
and then next give a spacer with 16 dp height then a button whose on click will fetch the data from the view model dot fetch weather function using the city name and api key then keep the button color blue jc and the button text check weather and done then below it give a spacer of 16 dp height now here four cards will come so instead of creating each card every time with the same parameters we will simply create a card composable function which we can use for all the four cards i am basically reducing the amount of code to write got it so come outside the brackets and here create a composable function named weather card. With three parameters. Label means the title text. And the value means the response from the API. And then the icon beside the label. And then. Now inside it, create a card with all the necessary parameters. And then inside the card, create a column again with all the required parameters. Then inside that column, we will create a row that will consist of an icon and label. So give alignment and arrangement. And then, then create an icon with all the parameters. And done. Besides it, we will give a label and a spacer of 4 dp width. And then the text which is a label. And done. Next, outside the row brackets, again give a spacer of 8 dp height. And then below it a box which will consist of the value means the API response. Hence, create a box. Keep it fill max width.
with weight 1F. And content alignment at center. Then the text that will display the value with all the required parameters. And done. Our card template is ready. Now let's use it here. First, check if the weather data is not null. If it is not, then let will execute the pillow code. Now see, these two cards are beside each other in a row. And likewise, these two cards are beside each other in a row. Hence, we need to create two rows, right? So create a first row with the required parameters. And then inside it, our first card will display the city name. Hence, I am using the weather card function whose label is city. The value is the response, means it dot name. Then the icon is a place icon. And that's it. Similarly, I will create a second card with the label temperature. Also, change this city string. Then value is it.main.temp. Because remember we store temperature value inside a main function, hence it.main.temp. You can also click on this to see where it comes from. Also, don't forget to add Celsius, then the star icon. So, one row is completed and now let's create the second row with all the required parameters. And then inside it, again, we will add two cards. One is for humidity and the second one is for description. So let me write them quickly. And done. But look over here. Again, humidity is a part of our main functions. Hence, we have write it dot main dot humidity with a percentage symbol. Got it? And description is a part of the weather function, which is a list. Hence, it dot weather zero, which is our first item of the list. Then dot description. Got it? And I guess that's it. Also, you won't see cards here, but they will be visible at the time of response. Okay? Then don't forget to write the weather screen function here inside the set content. And now that's it. 
Our weather app is ready. Now let's run the app and see. Okay, it looks great. I will write the city name Mumbai and click on the check weather button. And ta-da! We have the city name Mumbai with 26 degrees Celsius, 89% of humidity and overcast clouds description. Great! Let's try another one. And it works perfectly. Also, you can adjust the UI elements according to your screen size. Okay? So yeah, that is it for the video. If you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to my channel. And I will see you in the next video.